Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another edition of Soccer As We Like It, the Man United direction. Yes, we have not been on air for about two days now. The fact of the matter, you know, you get to a point where you're just tired of hearing the same regurgitated rumours and stories. We listen to Duncan Castle saying United are prepared to uh, talk to Zidane. Zidane's wife says she's not moving to Manchester. We don't even know if any of this is true. Uh, we listen to... Um, um, Brendan Rogers press conference recently, yesterday or two days ago, and he said his focus is on Leicester City, and he, he, he so, so he made it clear that he can't talk about another manager who's in a job, and he's in a job with another club. So he was very professional. But a lot of people said, "Oh, he snubbed Man United." No, he didn't. He's been professional. He can't talk of a job being offered to him when he's still contracted to Leicester, and Man United still have Ole. Completely different. So I understand where Brendan Rodgers was coming from. Let's accelerate for it. Yes, we all had this long break and the players are back. Let's move forward to today's press conference from Ole. I personally have never heard so much pile of poop in a very long time. Especially coming from a guy who's supposed to be the manager of Old Trafford. I mean, Jose Mourinho was bad enough, but at least he was toxic. This guy is just talking absolute bollocks oh we worked on training you know this week we worked on a few things we're going to implement in three days you're implementing something that you've been working on in three days who believes that crap you know the, the, the so they asked him why was the break so long you know sometimes it's time for people to unwind and this you saw players got to go see their families and you know you saw right you saw Marcel uh, skiing and and the players who in, worked on the individual things that they're trying to implement in training what are you fucking talking about that you know uh, it, it, sometimes you know, we 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 we, ha we went on this unbeaten run, and uh, we had a great away record, which we lost one game. Uh, we 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 are capable of going on a long run, bro. Out of thirty-three points available, you have got seventeen, literally half. That's fucked up, bro. So I don't know what cuckoo land this guy is coming from, but I ain't I ain't I ain't buying this pile of crock. It's nonsense, absolute nonsense. You know, we, we focus on Watford. Yes, we are. We, this, te this team is capable of going on a run. Going on a run and achieve what? Top four? Because you ain't winning the league title or even coming close. Because those 16 points you've thrown away can't be recovered. Only if Liverpool, Man City, Chelsea, all those ones fall off. They ain't falling off, bro, because you haven't got a clue of how to play decent football. But it keeps coming back, you know, we, there's things we, we're working on, we're tra on training which we're going to give priorities to. Three days? You've been working on something in three days and you're going to implement it and it's going to be fantastic. It's like, I made this new recipe, a new pudding. If you taste it, it's going to be delicious. No. Ole, you've been cooking the same pudding for the last three years and it has no taste. It's tasteless, bro. So you're not going to stare at new three days, new implementation, prioritizing new plans, new things we're going to work on. Bro. Bro. We ain't stupid. We are not stupid. So all the questions he answered, he came back to, we are working on new things. You know, going back to the same crap. It's like the three days he's been back. It's a miracle. I came back with a magic wand. I'm going to spin that wand and spread this glitter of fantastic football. The football we're going to be playing from the three days we've been training is going to be immaculate. We're going to be the best team for... Bro. Bro. Bullshit. The fans are not stupid, man. You see what I mean? But he'd be thinking, he said so certain players stayed behind working on individual things. You saw the pictures. Yeah, because the Manchester United are sending us stuff for fans to, oh, yeah, see the training. Bro. Nah. We're not buying this. We, we are done. The problem is, why are you still there? Why are you still there? That's the problem there. That is the big problem. We go again. 
you know, you know, we this team is capable of going on a run. We did that last season. We went 20 games unbeaten, and we uh, we lost one. All those fine margins of winning two one, and he said there's a different thing hitting the post and the ball going in and hitting the post and the ball going out. So, and the point you're making is, Ole, wake up and smell the coffee. Fans are not what they used to be. They know more than you. And apparently, I don't know how accurate it is. They had, Ole had a crisis talk with some of the senior players, Ronaldo, Maguire, Shaw, Matic, uh, Lindelof, and uh, someone else about how they could turn the season around. Uh, when you start doing that, doesn't that show you haven't got a clue, mate? Honestly? Are you sure you know what you're fucking doing? Because obviously, it doesn't seem you know what to do. You see what I mean? This is the problem. He does not know how to fix this. But they've been working on some priority plans. In this last few days, they've been working on some plans. You know? Let me just take this out quickly. Boom. A little insect crawling on my screen. Yeah. He's been working on some plans in this last few days. So prioritizing something we've been working on in training. All that shit you do in training, we don't see what it shows on the pitch because you still shit. If you do such shit in the training, we don't we see no different. It's still shit on the field. So what have you done differently? Like Janet Jackson said, what have you done for me lately, bro? What have you done for me lately? Because I'm not seeing it. And like The Rock says, I'm not smelling what you're cooking, bro. I'm not smelling what Ole is cooking because it absolutely stinks. And this bullshit PR they're trying to spin. Well, we have to beat Watford. You have dropped 16 points out of 33 available, bro. And we, we, we could go on a run. You're going on a run. You're not going to win. You're going to run trying to save your job. You're not going to run because Ole knows he ain't going to get another job paying this kind of wages. No one's going to pay him for this because he knows he's not good enough. I guarantee you, Aston Villa wouldn't hire him. Neither would, the, neither would Norwich hire him because he is not good. He's, oh dear. How we ended up with him is an absolute <sighs> let me just calm down let me just calm down because this whole week has been quite stressful just thinking of man united is stressful just thinking of like oh it was good to feel no football on the weekend now football is back tomorrow and we have to worry oh you know we, we get a result against watford we get a result against villarreal we get a result against Chelsea. oh all is back in the world yeah 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 nah i'm done Nah, I, I'm not falling for that okie doke anymore. We are done. Check the video we did on, on Monday where we talked, all the United fans were asked if Ole stayed to the end of the season, will United have been top four? Every single United fan, Australia, United States, UK, said no. What does that say? If you're watching our video, don't forget to smash a like, subscribe, share your comments. Don't forget to continue to push us. We really appreciate you to join us to get to our 4K subscription. That would be great if you could help us by pushing and sharing and subscribing. If you haven't, please subscribe. I'll see you in our next video. We're going to do match reactions tomorrow by interviewing the fans after the game against Watford. Glory, glory, Man United. I'm Tim Russell, host. I'll see you tomorrow.